friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty, and it's Monday, and it is the start of a brand new collaboration with myself and Trisha from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. And I'm so excited about this because I'll still be working on my wind chime project that I have, but, um, here, let me move you back a little, sorry. But um, Sweet Tea uh, wanted to work on a collaboration with me doing daily whips and chats and I jumped at the idea and she has some off the canvas projects that she wanted to work on. So we're going to do it just like we usually do with Judy from Crafting with Judy where we each have our own daily whips and chats but it's together. Uh, so when you see my video, please hop on over to Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea and watch her daily whip and chat as well. She's working on an off the canvas project. I don't know what project she's working on. I can't wait to see it, but that's what we're doing. And I'm so happy to do that. And so let's get started. You're seeing two flowers, one finished and one unfinished. The finished one I actually recorded, but unfortunately it did not take. <laughs> So, and I did this one in honor of Sweet Tea because it's got this beautiful purple color to it. And that's her favorite color, purple. So Sweet Tea, I just wanted to share this with you. This was the one that I was going to do uh, for my very first video with you as collaborating. And unfortunately, the video didn't take. So, but I wanted to show that anyway. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to put that aside. And today we're going to work on this pretty flower right here. I think it, I, I don't know why I almost want to say it's a pansy. I'm not sure. Let me just turn my fan on. It's a little warm in here. Um, but I'm not sure. But it's pretty and I want to work on it. So here we go. So how are you all doing on this Monday? I hope you're well. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on in. And actually, before we get started, I just noticed I've got to change my battery. So, I will be right back, and then we'll get started working on this flower. And we're back. All right, so let's get started working on this flower. So I've already taken the protective cover off, and I just wanted to take a quick peek and see what the colors were. So, we have the number three. Okay, we'll start with the number three, which seems to be the most prominent color. And that's what I have the most of in this set. So there we go. Give this a little shake. Beautiful, rich, ruby red color. Oh my gosh. I love it. So let's get started. Let me just go ahead and bring this down here. Perfect. So how are you on this Monday? I hope you're doing well. I'm so happy to, do, to be able to do this collaboration with Sweet Tea. She is awesome. And if you've not yet subscribed to her channel, please do so. And Judy from Crafting with Judy, who's my twin sister, she and I usually collaborate on Daily Whips and Chats, but she's taking a little time off. She just completed a series of keychains, so she wanted to take a little time off. And she does that. She'll go on a hiatus in between projects. But she did a great live the other day. She pinch hit for me because uh, I took the weekend off from the live. I wanted to watch the Buffalo Bills preseason football game live as it happened. So Judy said no problem and she stepped right in and took over. So I'll have my live this coming weekend. But uh, hop on over to Crafting with Judy as well. She's awesome. Beautiful bright color on this flower. Oop. 
oops, helps if I put a drill on there. Oh, and I've had some compliments on this pen that I'm using. This pen, funny, uh, it happens to be a gift from Sweet Tea, from Trisha Sweet Tea, and it's got leaves on it. Isn't that pretty? And this tray that I use, one of my favorite trays, it's actually a gift from Sweet Tea as well. So it's so funny that we happen to uh, hook up on a collaboration because I, always, I like to use a lot of the things she's so generous and she gifted me uh, beautiful care packages and uh, I get quite a bit of use out of the gifts that she's given me and you know what the best gift of all that I have is her friendship I'm blessed beyond words so when she reached out to me with the offer of a collaboration to do to work on a off the campus project that she wanted to work on and I would continue to work on this I jumped at it I said of course we've worked on projects previously as well uh, we've done different diamond paintings we've done the same diamond painting but we've, you know, done it on our own channels, and that was a lot of fun as well. Our classic kitty collection. I still have a couple more that I want to work on that I have. I have one that's a Van Gogh. It's a kitty cat in a Van Gogh picture. The one where he's got his ear wrapped up. I want to do that one. And then I have one more classic kitty. It looks like a, a very royal kitty cat sitting there all majestic with a one of those uh, old-fashioned Victorian high collar. Collars on it. Yeah. So maybe I'll do that at some point in time. I like working on, the, on these uh, off-the-canvas projects, though, because they're smaller. They go a little quicker and I'm I don't have as much time as I used to with my new job. I work longer hours. So um it's a little more hard for me to, to sit down and be able to, to diamond paint. And I still have several projects in the works. But they'll get done. They'll all get done eventually. I do get them done. This one is empty because it's a number two. So, and right now I'm just working on the number three. But I can't hardly wait to see the project that Sweet Tea picks to work on. That'll be fun. But this wind chime, I got it from Timu, and it's really pretty. These flowers come together really quickly. And that's another thing that I like about this particular project. Now these flowers, I've said it before, I'll, I'll remind you all that they are double-sided, but I'm only working on the one side with you all on camera. And then when I have the chance, I'll get the, um, the other side done off camera. And it is a Sunday that I'm filming this. Actually, oh, that's a three. That's not a two. That was a three. Well, that's not going to be blank anymore. There we go. Uh, this is a Sunday that I'm filming this. So you'll hear Spoto in the background barking away, being Spoto. It's actually a Sunday morning when I'm filming this. So Todd is making breakfast. And Spoto, we just came back inside. We sat outside for a good hour or so, having coffee and having a toss 
a toss of the ball with Spoto. He loves to go outside and play catch. So we sat out there for about an hour, and Ta and I are like, yeah, we, we want to go in and have some breakfast now. Well, that's not Spoto's plan. Spoto came in to have a drink of water, and now he wants to go back out and play. So, but eventually he'll, he'll quiet down. He just wants us to know that he wants to go out. But when he doesn't get his way, he'll just settle down. He'll be okay. Todd's making us a nice big breakfast. And I'm in for it. Now, if you didn't catch his grocery haul over the weekend, when he went shopping, he picked up quite a few good deals. And a couple of the deals were some uh, sauces. Like, um steak sauce and then he got um he got a um chick-fil-a sauce the regular chick-fil-a sauce we like the polynesian sauce from chick-fil-a but he found it was on a sale it was a good sale uh the regular chick-fil-a sauce and we've never had it before so he picked that up and he made homemade baked chicken nuggets the other night for dinner. We had that with a nice green tossed salad. And we tried a couple of the sauces. And the one sauce we got, he got the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce, which was really good. And then he got a couple of Texas Roadhouse sauces that were on sale. And one of them was a golden... I don't know what they call it, golden steak sauce or something like that. And we were kind of under the assumption it might be something similar to a mustard-based sauce. Like a mustard-based barbecue sauce. And so he picked that up and we, we tried that with the chicken nuggets. Well, the Texas Roadhouse golden sauce no, wasn't my favorite. We're going to try it on pork chops. But it didn't work well with chicken. But, of course, the Chick-fil-A sauce worked perfectly with the chicken. It was delicious. And, of course, still fan of the Polynesian sauce, but this uh, Chick-fil-A sauce, really super good. That was a mustardy type of a sauce. Oops. And that worked out really well. Plus, on my salad, I had a honey mustard sauce, so I was <laughs> a honey mustard dressing. So, uh, lots of mustard theme going on on the other on the other night. But so yeah, if you saw Todd's haul, you saw the different uh, sauces he picked up. Plus, he picked up a a Whataburger mustard and these were all on sale because he would never we would never buy them at their normal price they're just too dang expensive but they were each of these sauces were like a dollar seventy less than two dollars so I thought we'd give them a try oh dang So, anywho, I think I'll work on this number three, and then I might work on a little bit of the middle real quick before I let you go. And then this way, we'll have just the number two to work on when I see you tomorrow, and then we'll work on another flower. Here we go. That's what I love about this 
particular project. These flowers go pretty quickly. So that's the number three. One fill out. Ooh, there we go. And let's see, the number seven. We'll do the number seven next. Uh, there we go, we'll take it out of that one. Just a few because I don't need that many. There we go. Oh, pardon me, I had the hiccups. Oh, and I missed a number three. I'll catch it. I'll catch it in a minute. You know me. I might miss it now, but I'll I'll catch it. The weather is has finally broken for a few days and it's been a lot less humid so we're really enjoying it we got to sit outside like I said we sat outside yesterday morning uh, which was Sunday I mean sorry Saturday I'm filming this on a Sunday um, but we sat outside sun Saturday morning and Sunday morning for a little while and Debbie why don't you try not hitting your hand with the pen and knocking the drill off wouldn't that be neat? There we go. Um, so that was a treat because we've not been able to do that in weeks because it's been so hot. Now the number eight, which is this pretty yellow. So that's been a treat that we've been able to use our back porch again. Our back deck. It's supposed to get humid again, which doesn't surprise me. It's just, you know August for goodness sake. So I'm going to do that one last number three, and then we'll call it a day. Here we go. Just grab one of those pretty little ruby red there all right you know what friends let's just finish this flower we only have a little bit more if we go over we go over you know me this is a beautiful deep ruby red really deep ruby red so pretty a little bit better. Wow, that's red. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to finish this flower off. Why not? We were this close, right? This way we'll get a fresh start on a new flower. There we go. And there's not that much more to do on it. So if we go over, we go over, right? We're celebrating today a new collaboration with a good friend. Olympics have now ended. By the time you all see this, it'll be the day after the closing ceremony. I, of course, I taped this on a Sunday morning, so I don't, I've not yet seen it, but I'm sure it's going to be spectacular. The games were amazing. Absolutely amazing. USA knocked it out of the park again. Most medals. Now, by the time you see this, I don't know what the final medal count is, but we were ahead by a lot on total medals. And we were 
close to having the most gold, but I'm not sure if we did achieve that yet or not. But by the time you see this, you will all know. But it was an amazing game. It was amazing Olympics. Uh, so many stars, so much great talent. It was just truly amazing. There we go, friends. Four more, and then we'll be done with this particular flower. There we go. There we are. How nice. Let me just put this down and I'll put my drills away. There. And I will pull you out so we can take a good look. Oh, look at the beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I love it with the darker on the sides and then the lighter. Isn't that cute? So friends, thank you. And thank you, Sweet Tea, for joining me on this, on this uh, off-the-canvas journey <laughs> while I put together these wind chimes. I am so excited to see what you're working on, and I couldn't be more happy. Uh, please, friends, again, stop by Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea, and please subscribe to her channel. Watch her video. She's amazing. She does great product reviews, completion videos, whips and chats, unbaggings. She gets Timu. She gets Amazon. I mean, it's she just does it all. And she's just a classy lady. I'm honored to call her my friend. And I'm so excited to do this with her. Thanks again, Sweet Tea. And until I see you all again, have a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe to this channel as well. And I look forward to seeing you again. Have a wonderful day. Happy crafting. God bless. Bye now.